All right, what's going on? So today we are going to be going through and solving arguably the biggest bottleneck that you'll face. Getting someone to show up to their consultation call, book in and show up to their consultation call and actually turn them into a client. Now, many people will say that the best and simplest way to weed out tire kickers is just simply to make your consultation a paid one instead of a free one. Now, they're half right in what they're saying. It might be a simple way to weed out tire kickers, but is it an effective way? I don't think so. And I'll tell you why. Uh, let's think from a leads perspective. So I'm this emoji person right here. Um, me and my spouse have decided that we need to get a divorce. And I'm looking to get a lawyer in the mix. I'm scrolling on Google. I'm scrolling on Facebook. Um, and I'm coming across ads, direct response ads from multiple different lawyers around, and I'm seeing two different things. Let's say I come across two different ads. One lawyer is saying, Hey, I'm giving out a free consultation. Uh, anybody looking to win their divorce settlement? Um, yeah, call in or click the link below, learn more, um, and get a free consultation. Whereas, um, Maybe another lawyer is offering $250 for the same thing. Now, for all we know, this $250 consultation can be far, far, far better than this free one. But at the end of the day, what's being presented up front is, bottom line, just a consultation. So if something is the way it is, if I, if I have this mouse right here and there's two versions of them, exact same, so they appear to be, one's free and one's 250 bucks. I mean, I'd be a fool to take the $250 one, right? Obviously this lead is gonna go for the free consultation option, right? And this $250 um, campaign wouldn't do very well. So I have an alternative solution to this and it might rub a few feathers the wrong way, but so be it. It's worked in the past and I know it has and me gatekeeping the knowledge would just be doing a disservice to, uh, to any PIs, family lawyers, and honestly, for for that matter, any other uh, field of, of law, if, if you do practice that. So why don't we offer something completely different? Matter of fact, why don't we throw out the initial consultation altogether? Let's frame your offer in a unique way, which gives you the best leverage you can ask for, and that's to charge what you want because no one else in the market's doing it, right? So again, here's what someone's seeing. Same old $250 consultation, call now. They're rolling their eyes at it. There's free ones. Why would I take a $250 one? And then they just scroll past your ad. Or if you're running billboards uh, or pamphlets, they just toss that in the garbage or drive right past it. It doesn't, doesn't affect them at all. Now, under this, I've got some secret sauce of some different ways we can contort and present your offer in a more uh, enticing way. So before I do uh, remove that square there, be sure to drop a like and a subscribe. Um, I'll be dropping content on the regular, sharing more and more knowledge about the marketing side to running a successful law firm and a successful legal operation. So I'm going to give you a second to do that. All right. So let's go through what some of this secret sauce is. This is what's going to stop someone from scrolling. Uh, let's say you're a family lawyer. Instead of a $250 consultation, you offer them a $250 winning divorce roadmap. This puts their desire into reality. It's not just a measly old consultation where um, you just ask them questions. It's just it's, it's not the regular thing. It's you putting together a roadmap, a battle plan for them to get their um, desired result, which is winning the divorce settlement, right? Now, on the back end, these two can be the same exact thing. But if we're presenting something to someone in framed in such a way that's very enticing to them, they're going to act. And this is definitely a bigger scroll stopper and a uh, attention grabber than just the measly old consultation that everyone uh, offers. Now, this might just seem like a little minute change that might make negligible 
benefits to your campaign. But in the past, there have been countless campaigns where this offer framing has literally been the pivotal change in the campaign's success. At the end of the day, it's all about an offer. You can run leads through to an offer that doesn't resonate with people and they're simply going to ignore it. But if you run a fraction of those leads across an offer that they resonate with, well, what's going to happen? More people are going to book in calls and more people are, as a result, going to be closed clients. Which means that this seemingly minute change can also be the game changer for you too. In a world full of lawyers offering the same commodity, and when we look at commodities, it's really a glorified race to the bottom. Um, I'm sure as a lawyer, you've seen countless ads on um, Facebook. Your email has been bombarded by uh, people saying, hey, I'll run your ads, I'll run your ads, I'll run your ads. Um, And this isn't just a thing for the law industry. It's littered across the internet everywhere. People are becoming numb and numb and numb to people running ads for them that it's just becoming that much more in, uh, valueless. You know, back in maybe 2018, 2017, this wasn't a service that was a commodity. There were only a handful of people offering ads as a service, and that th- that was the reason why they could charge far greater than they can today. Like I've heard of retainers, people were charging five to six to 7,000 a month um, to manage someone's ads. But nowadays, it's such a commodity that you know, people are turning heads away for even $1,500 a month retainers, right? So it's really a really long race to the bottom. It doesn't just apply to people offering Facebook ads. It's to lawyers as well. Everyone's offering consultations and it just becomes a game of undercutting each other, undercutting each other, undercutting each other um, until, you know, you bottom out and it, it just ends up being not profitable. Anyways, go from that world of full of lawyers offering that same commodity to being a standout lawyer offering an irresistible offer that someone would just simply feel stupid to say no to. So I hope this gave a little bit of clarity. Take some time today. Um, talk it out with your team. How can you alter the way you're presenting your initial consultation to your leads? And I promise you that the numbers will be undeniable after you, after you do make the change. But that's all for me today. I hope you have a blessed day. Click the first link in the description if you want everything and everything, uh, anything implemented into your back end to make it as bulletproof as possible uh, and help you close anywhere from 20 to 50 cases a month on autopilot. We do help PI and family lawyers with that. So again, that's the first link in the description. But again, that's all for me today. I hope you have a blessed day.